Hi, everybody. <coughs> It's me, shiny underscore doorknob. You're actually seeing this. Oh, wait. You're seeing this before anybody else. Uh, there you go. English. I think so. Continue. Please don't close the game when this icon appears. It's saving. Very good. Now, please put on your head off. Oh, okay, I missed what it said. Go back. All right. Blah, blah, blah. These are the games. Game studios that made it. Oh, Unreal Engine 4. I can't believe it. Statement. Content. Ready. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's all under the Creative Commons. That's cool. Photo sensitivity warning. I don't. This game gets horror scenes of content. Oh, no. All right. Well, we're starting this up. But this is this is a YouTube exclusive right now. There is no one on Twitch watching this. This is just you and me. What is this place? Wow, it's Night City. <laughs> they repeated some of the buildings, I can tell. Oh, press any button to begin. Oh my god, all right. Well, I'm gonna be moving my head cam around, but I'm gonna start the stream now, so fuck you. There it is, all right, hi, hello, welcome to me. Welcome to me doing this. Hey, uh, we actually started the YouTube video before I started this video. Um, the stream, I mean. Anyway, we're playing SCP uh, Suck My Cock and Files. Uh, let's do it. In a cafeteria? I am Carl. Carl Astana. Carl Astanner. A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The pies there were rather to my liking. I became startled when the man sitting across me suddenly shouted, up, Fuck. You're going too fast. After seeing that there were only other empty tables in the restaurant, I said to this man, excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Something I Look, this seat's occupied. Find, a, find yourself another table, all right, you fucker. I know, school. I'm sorry. I'm late. Without answering my question, the man continued talking to himself. Well, look, so here you are. You're graduating soon. Clearly you need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have just the job for you. The man paused that emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. Uh, mysterious and wonderful, huh? <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He then handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black with the three letters printed neatly on one side. Suck cock protocol. How's it going, Skuma? Um, can I change my... Oh, clicked open envelope. I meant to fucking... Ah, oh, shit. This is interactive. Dear... Honorable. That's not what that says. Honorable Carl Astana. I'm doing pretty good. I'm ready to get spooked out of my absolute pants here. I'm... There's a filter. Hold on. There's a color key on. We'll see if I need to fucking turn that back on, honestly. Let me put my face cam somewhere that might not. I don't know where it's going to belong. I'll put it up here for now. So just don't get angry with me if it's in a bad spot. Maybe down here. Fuck it. I don't know. We'll, we'll mix it up a little bit. I haven't been down here in a while. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I went to the dentist. That's why I'm late. That's why I'm late, anyone watching this. Um, congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values p your knowledge and expertise, especially in terms of delicious pies. You will assume the position of Assistant Archivist in the Archive Department, Group 3, Director Chuck Auer. Why the fuck? Do you have to, sorry, that's, that might be a real nasty last name. That sounds made up. Chuck uh, Auer will be your superior. Oh, okay. Please go to the suck office of Sector uh, on Sector Sigma. Is that what that one is? Let's see. I hope it's a uh, Sigma symbol. Yeah, Sector Sigma, Sector Sigma on uh, July. What is this? Is this American? Yeah, that's the 13 is in the month. <laughs> Fucking God damn it. What is it? June, July, August 13th, 2012. Oh, 900 hours to pick up your employee card. We look forward to working with you. Personnel Department of Site 105. Oh, 105. Is that SCP? I can't remember. One set, set five, secure, contain, protect. Cool. Thank you. How's it going, Scoom Dog? I hope I'm blocking something impaired to the plot in the bottom right corner. This game did also say it was a horror game for you watching on Twitch. Just want everyone to be aware. Maybe I should put all the blinds down. Finally, immense backlog of SCP lore has an outlet. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Someone's gonna fucking... Oh, yeah? Oh, where's the pee store? Pee store in the balls. Pee store in the balls. Oh. Oh. Oh God. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always Oops. be anomalies. Fuck! 
I'm covering the thing. Yeah. And affect our daily lives. I'm moving it up here. Oh, look at that guy. An organization dedicated to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. Fair enough. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free of fear. Okay. While ordinary Whoa, people live look at that guy. We must fight anomalies in the shadows. We must prevent them from being that's a, that's, That one looks fucking huge. Executing Mason Jar Protocol. <laughs> store the cum. P is stored in the ball skuma. Cum is stored in the heart. Just right in here. This has a secure contained protection facility. Have you heard of the game called Lobotomy Corporation? I haven't actually. Did you buy this game? It's big SCP vibes. Big SCP vibes moment. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, SCP Secret Files. That's the game we're playing right now. That's crazy. I like how this is this big facility. Wouldn't it just be easier just to not have to like worry about maintaining normalcy? Normality? Wouldn't it just be easier to be like, ah, fuck it. Let's just be the Witcher and then just everything's fucked up forever? <laughs> I guess it would. Can I look around? I don't think so. They've got me in a little... Oh, no. Now I can. Oh, my name is, uh, I think my name is Carl. Oh my god, it's the same noises. I feel like it's the same footstep noises they used in, um, Containment Breach or whatever it is. Lobotomy Corporation. Maybe we'll have to check that one out if we finish this. Mission Statement. Operating clandestine and worldwide. The Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction. Empowered. Empowered and entrusted by every major national government with the task of containing anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. These anomalies pose a significant threat to global suck by threatening either physical or psychological suck. The foundation operates to maintain suck so that the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in their personal beliefs and to maintain human independence from extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional, and other extra-normal influence. SCP Foundation. I, do it, wouldn't it have been easier to say mission statement secure, contain, protect, secure? The foundation secures anomalies with the goal of preventing them from falling into the hands of civilian arrival agencies. Oh, yeah, because there's like some there's some terrorist groups in this universe. Not like in our universe. Through ex extensive observation and surveillance and by acting to intercept such anomalies at the earliest opportunity. I like how you read my question but didn't answer. Did I buy this game? I did. Sorry. I did buy this game. I purchased it. There's an alternate universe where that happens, actually. It's usually known as the Broken Masquerade con to continuity. It's where the foundation is revealed to be to the world, and they d decide it's better to work publicly. Really? Do you know a lot of the lore of uh, SCP, Baba? What do these say? Friday, 9 p.m. Come to Zone B. Read what that says. Little smiley face. Warning and safety. Documents. 1971. Four, yeah, was one of four men who met Hitler and his party when they landed from two submarines in Argentina approximately two. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> he made it. All right. Be right back. Was there a person down there? I thought there was. Cool. Nice. That walk animation looks good. All right. 901. Hello? Can I sprint? Oh, wow. That's that's sprinting. This is me walking. I mean, it's a normal walk pace. There's so much lore to really know, but I know some of the notable things. Yeah, that's fair. This game is pretty fucking uh, huge. SCP Foundation test. <clears throat> yeah. That looks pretty good. It's a dam. I bet there's like all these little Easter eggs in here that I just have no fucking clue what they are. <laughs> Why and what is fucking bulletin board talking about? Four men who met Hitler and his party when they landed from two in Argentina approximately two and a half weeks after the fall after the fall of what? Continued that the first sub came close to shore about Hitler inland. Yeah, okay, there you go. US Kitty SS Kitty Hawk. Pussy Hawk. That's my room right there, but I'm gonna go past it. The, the, the noise sounds really weird. It sounds like my footsteps are actually coming from behind me. Or like they're like a, they're like a, they're like delayed. Alright, well. 
What an idiot. There's <laughs> gotcha. Press WASD to move fingerprint. What a bad fingerprint scanner. <laughs> it has to be so precise. Wow. That's neat. Damn, Carl. Okay. Don't forget. Oh, make sure you write a post-it note that says <laughs> Sorry, that was that wasn't that great. Is this? Oh! They weren't lying. This is a horror game. No, nah, I sorry. There's somebody said something up there. What the fuck is that down there? Carl Astana, date of birth, May twenty fifth, nineteen eighty nine. How old am I? Thirty three. Thirty thirty three. Massachusetts. Oh, MIT. Wow. Archive department. Wow. Cool. There's this one SCP that makes porn of anything. The human race. <laughs> That's when they're like, you know what? We should do this publicly. You will have access to classified and top secret archives. Archives. Please confirm that you are aware of all confidentiality, confidentiality clauses and agree to swear by and strictly adhere to all SCP Foundation regulations and guidelines. I agree to the SCP Foundation regulations and staff regulations on Site 105. Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Before starting your work, please allow us to introduce you to the software used in the archive department. Okay. Each day, your superior will assign tasks to the mission module. When there's a new task, the button will blink red to remind you. Communication with the site relies primarily on the instant messaging system, where information is processed using level 2 encryption. Please pay attention to blinking red reminders to view them promptly. Training is an effective means of information sharing within the foundation. New employees must first participate in new employee training before they may begin work. This page shows public information of all sites around the world. You can view the site at any time. Oh, cool. This concludes the introduction. We wish you success in your work. Thanks, everybody. Neat. Okay. Do you have games on your PC? <laughs> Where's the Angry Birds one? Uh, mail? Friends? That's the only one I could seem to be able to select. That's Europe. Kind of. Kind of Europe. East Asia. Oh, Site 45. What the fuck? Just 20 minutes before Hurricane Beth was expected to hit Port Hedland, Australia, it was suddenly downgraded from Cat 3 to Cat 1. Experts at the Foundation believe the tsunami is related to the appearance of SCP-2285. Site-45 had attempted to dispatch an MTF team to the area in order to contain SCP-2285, but the operation was blocked by the Ethics Committee. Currently, the question of whether SCP-2285 should be contained remains under discussion and review. Neat. All right, well, I don't know. Boring. Uh, friends? Zoe Green, how'd the mission go, Ghent? Did the information gathered on SCP-1299 go smoothly? It was damn close this time. Luckily, I know how to swim. Glad Chuck didn't send me there. I can't stand the feeling of being drenched in water. Ah, oh, I think I caught a cold, too. Good morning, y'all! Good morning. Morning. Guess what? Our group's got a new member today. Carl, how about introducing yourself first? Morning, everyone. Hiya, friends. Good morning. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm not saying hiya. Morning, everyone. My name is Carl Astana. You can call me Carl. I'm going to be the cool one. Cool, the, uh, the cool, aloof uh, graduate from MIT with a double major in biology and philosophy. <laughs> Welcome. The smiley face. Stuart with the fucking face. M-I-T. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It seems MIT is not popular here. Is it just me or do I send... send it seems MIT is not popular here. No, no, no. It's not like that. Not targeting you specifically, pal. It's all these prestigious graduates. Enough, Gant. The Foundation specifically seats up prestigious graduates, and then the Foundation throws them all into the archive department. Carl, don't listen to the nonsense coming out of his mouth. Have you all conveniently forgot about Jonathan? Seems like this Jonathan left a bad impression. Oh, shit. I finally have a full-body picture of myself taken by somebody else. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what does that fucking mean? Girl's obsessed. Oh, you have a full... <laughs> That's the goal. The first thing in a relationship you want to do is kiss somebody and then get a full body photo of yourself taken by them. How's it fucking going? Skim. Um, seems like this Jonathan left a bad impression on you. Is there anything else? You guys watched Rick and Morty last night? Ah, Stuart, fucking, this guy's got it. You prestigious graduates are so full of it. You think you can just beam through everywhere with your glowing academic qualifications. You got it coming. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. How dangerous could dealing with paperwork possibly be? Tragedy? You must be joking. Uh, I'd like that one more. 
Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP-247. He was given am am amnestics and sent back home two days ago. Rick clearly knows too much. I don't really want to recall those details. I can't even eat medium rare steak anymore. I've got reason to suspect he was a former SCP employee. LOL. Hey, Stuart. No one wants to talk about those boring children's cartoons, all right? What did they just say about Rick and Morty? What the fuck? That was just an accident. Accident? Who cares? It's all been downhill after season two anyway. He was just a prestigious graduate with a higher co consume rate than Class D personnel. In this year's annual report, I'm going to replace Archive Department with Relief Station. Rick and Morty is not a children's cartoon. Again, I think you scared Carl. If any of you are planning on getting some serious work done today, then please do me a favor and shut just shut the fuck up. As long as you are here working in the Archives Department, I'm going to need you to focus on your work. Unlike those people in the Logistics Department spending their time gossiping all day. Zoe... These archives contain missions not complete the last time. Some places still need modifications. Got it. Gent. Take some time after after you finish up with this project, all right? Don't push yourself too hard. Got it. Shut up, Gent. Stuart. Got it, boss. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's all. The Class A archive must be handed in by the end of the day. Uh, what should, what's my what's What should I do, boss? What's my job, Director Hour? Shut up, fucking goody two-shoes, Carl. In the archives department, we need to review, organize, catalog, and modify all existing containing containment archives. But no need to hurry, young, young man. You'll need to attend the new employee onboarding training first before you can begin working at the foundation but officially. The system will send you a meeting notice. I'll keep an eye. I, I don't like either of these. This one sounds like my fucking nose is directly inside of his asshole. And this one sounds like I'm trying too hard. I guess they both sound like I'm trying too hard. Whoa, what's up? Hello, Rogue Duck. Oh, Bryden. Shit, I didn't even see you come in. All right, Director Hour. Hey, Director Hour. I'm honored to be given the chance to work at the Archives Department. Shut up. Young man, this place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start again from zero if you hope to learn to survive here. No one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. Understood, Director Hour. How is it, horror? Look at this. It's, it's fucking hor the horrifying, the horrifying truth of bureaucracy. And the new employee onboarding training will be hosted by Dr. Ham this time. You will suffer, Carl. I suggest you prepare a paper bag for your, for the vomit to come. He's just messing with you. You might want to wrap a paper bag around your dick, though. Guys, you still have no idea what you will be doing, do you? Now move it. Remember, Carl, stay sane and always in awe. Notice, the course you signed up for is about to begin. Please join the meeting in the training system. Click here into the training system. All right. This is horrific. This is a this is a fucking job. Hello, TCM. Glad you got a full body pick of yourself from someone else. That's fantastic. That's fucking amazing. First class, Raymond Ham. Yep. Address meeting. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Accessing account authority done. Establishing encrypted channel. Okay. <laughs> Excluding meme. Me medic. All right. SCP online classes, SCPs, COVID-19 schooling. Training is about to begin. I wish it made the boop, 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 boop. Jason Carter is a death row inmate. Sick. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work. The SCP Foundation for 30 days. Seems like a lot for a Clementine. It's like a fruit. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Is that a Half Life reference? Jason Carter is now D503. D's nuts. Alright, gotcha. Was that a Skype call thing? It was. Yeah, we're on Skype right now with the SCP Foundation. Your birthday's in five days. Finna destroy the cake like Bruce Lee. And a can on my cake, but you can still blow me. <laughs> Shut the... Oh, fuck. Sorry. What? What the fuck? Oh, wow. This looks fucking gross. Why is that... Why is it like this? I guess I gotta put on the fucking... Wow, I am Gordon Freeman, bro. I got the hazmat suit and everything. Destroy that fucking cake. What kind of cake are you getting? Do you get, uh... Have you played this before? No, never. This is my first foray into this, uh, into this weird, I don't know what animation they're doing. It's like all pastel paintings.
All right, so this guy, D503, don't remember his real name, Jason Carter. He's wor agreed to work with the foundation for 30 days. I don't think he's going to make it, honestly. <laughs> I, think this is the I think this is his first and last of the day. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. It looks like some sort of vaginal deposit over there. Oh. Alright, I thought those were getting closer, and I was like, huh, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Collect the waste. I wanted to check out what's this over here. I thought I saw something. What if I can just drive off? What happens if I just drive away? Shit. Shit! Damn. <laughs> this really is, uh... Oh, invisible wall. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jason Carter. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop. Jason. Jason. Are you on Mars? I don't fucking know. It's all part of the SCP. It, it, uh, it manipulates uh, space and, and gravity. What's that? Discarded roadblock! Blue roadblock. Although the triangular support structure is extremely stable, even it cannot withstand the erosion caused by the desert. Gotcha. Damn. That's crazy. Getting some fucking uh, lore today, everybody. I want to fucking send this thing. What's uh? What's up with this guy? <laughs> Rusted iron pipe. An iron pipe whose value was too rusty to turn. It could have been recycled. Wait, valve. It could have been recycled, but humans still chose to throw it away. Sick. I guess, do I have to... I'm running out of weight. I've, I've got, like, fucking 100... I've got 20 more kilograms. I can put on 44 more pounds. And then this fucker's gonna blow. Blow. Alright, what's this? Maybe it's, uh... Maybe they all... Maybe they weigh enough. What's up? Oh, the sand effect is kind of cool. Damage tin drum. A... Uh, Tin drum with a danger sign on it. Having one protected hatch is liquid from leaking. It was discarded upon the completion of this mission. I feel like I... I don't know. <laughs> can I... What if I just keep collecting the garbage? I think I could probably push it. It might just not let me. Oh, the truck seems to be getting... No, maybe not. I thought it was getting slightly slower. Nope, this fucker's just going. Never mind, we're good. Jason! We're gonna go for it. Fuck it. Discarded tires! A discarded tire filled with sand. After vehicles became the main form of transportation, discarded tires began to grow in numbers. Good to know. Got that tire lore. All right, well, let's see. I, oh, fuck. I feel like not doing what the SCP Foundation tells me to do is probably the best thing for my health. Average Saharan Desert moment. What's this? Jerry can. Damaged petrol tank. Plastic petrol tank. Hard to decompose even after a hundred years. One of the more stubborn pieces of waste. Damn, we're fucking thick, bro. Is that the incinerator? Was that there the whole time? I don't seem to remember that being there. <laughs> How do I get out of here as well? Actually, I just realized. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, nice. Okay. Am I also incinerated? Is that the sick joke? Nice. 
please pull down the lever to confirm the fucking thing. What? Switch off. Whoa! Fire. I didn't realize how indie this game was. I thought it was like a little bit more. It looks pretty good. I mean, like it's, I don't know. It's better than stuff that I could fucking make. This was D-503's first day of work. And it was his last. Oh, I thought it was going to, never mind. SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Please take the level two mental test to access your current mental state. <laughs> Please drag the left graphic fragment into the back squ square area to fill the whole square area. Gotcha. Okay. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Testing personal D503. We're getting more complicated now. Um, I think like that, and then maybe uh, like this, and then like this for sure. Oh, fuck yeah. Bro. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a little too intelligent for USCP files. No way, it's zero escape. No, Baba, Baba, wait. Yeah! The fucking thing. That's fucking great. How'd I do? Ah, uh, fuck. God damn, that D257, that fucking bitch, he always beats me. Today's work is complete. The system will call. Oh, oh, sick. I wonder if I can make it. Give me burger. Depositing burger. Oh, that looks. Put your hand out next time. Fucking <laughs> moron. I think I might have been covering that up. Collect the burger. Still delicious. I got an achievement. You may now sleep. Engage nap protocol. Oh, it's a bed. Nice. This was the first day D503 psychological. 2001. Oh, it's before September. This is before the fucking Twin Towers, too. You're probably wondering. How can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? I don't know. SCP-7457 observation analysis. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Nice. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. Okay. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Volunteer. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457. The second twin tower was SCP, the Foundation that hit it with an anti-SCP plane. <laughs> 329? We have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As Ryan Hall here left. Is new to the foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Oh, okay. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. Fucking pick it up, dude. How do you not know that? Sorry, I'm I'm just making myself smaller. I'm gonna the man's gonna start talking again. Phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Anal anomalies. anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. Mm -hmm. The work of the foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from shall we say experiencing them okay next question next question hello dr ham <laughs> i'm mark harris oh my god research intern from site 27 
In the video, we saw D503 picking up garbage. <laughs> the skin is so smooth. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? <laughs> okay, anomalies. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I like it really is online classes. It's just Zoom the meetings. The <laughs> was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Wait, today's the eighth day. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Brr, hope you enjoyed Burger. All right. Nice, get it. Boom. <laughs> Did you get the zoom link? No, sorry. <laughs> your cat filter's on. The what filter? The filter that makes your face look like a cat. The filter's on. Did you not? The cat filter's on. I'm going to see if I can, like, I just want to see where I can put my face. Yeah, no, that's great. All right, sick. Booga booga. You are now entering the weird truck desert. Let's have a look at what happened. Uh oh, <laughs> this is the part where he got ripped apart by a giant fucking <laughs> sand monkey. <laughs> What's a sand? Oh, it's nighttime. Is that not normal? Is that the anomaly? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess they're gonna do something fucked up. So I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm gonna go for the furthest one. Well, I'm gonna guess you're playing with viewers. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, you guys are all the. You guys are all part of the class, don't you know? I fucking hate how it doesn't get rid of the tag. All right, anyway, I guess that should be my job. Well, what happened to the door that I came in, actually? Is it still just right there? Okay, sick. I'll just have to remember that. I'm sure I'll remember that. I am the anomaly. <laughs> I am inside your walls. Dr. Ham, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close the blinds. It's getting in the way of my emergency. The spooky, scary fucking uh, blinds are all closed now. And you know what? I'll even turn off my lamp. And I'll, you know what? I'll even turn off my ring light. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn it all the way down or something. Make it even spookier. Look at that. Low light. The camera's gonna fucking have a field day with this. Alright. Oh, I'm fucking completely... God damn it! Look at this, everybody. This is the content. This is content. Okay, cool. <coughs> Where's this garbage, bro? Whoa! I think it's just outside. Oh. Broken air conditioner, a rusty air conditioner. Modern human beings cannot live without air conditioners due to global warming. Get the use of Freon in air conditioners also indirectly causes global warming. Cool. Fair enough. We're gonna go for the one on the left. That's what my gut's telling me. That's what my nuts are telling me. I like that they, I guess it has a, it's cool that it has a day and night cycle. I think this, this is all taking place in the future or something, post-global warming. Whoa! Oh, there it is, right there. Get him! What is that, like a squid or something? Why did I get it on the opposite side? That's Joe, we're fine. What is this? I think it's fine. Whatever it is, wrapped up in like goop or something. Black spindle, a spindle of thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. It is much heavier than it looks, and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Sick. Go to the incinerator. I don't fucking think so, kiddo. I don't finish a job till the job's finished. Okay. That's just how I roll. That's just how I Dave Grohl. <laughs> The tentacle fucking <laughs> emotes. Uh oh. Is this the one that makes everything into porn? Is this a hentai? Where is the last one? Oh, it's right down there. Run, bitch. Alright, nothing freaky happened. That's good. Corroded iron bucket. The surface of the barrel is corroded, and the liquid inside is highly corrosive. Nice. Well, move to the incinerator. 
Sick drift. Oh, he's really, really pushing it. I could see the incinerator in the distance. The incinerator. Get that speed going. Come on. We gotta fucking hit that ramp. I don't think he's gonna be able to hit the ramp. <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit, that was pretty good. Alright, we're okay. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happened at all. Oh, they replace the truck every time. That's hilarious. What happens if I just run away? Oh, wow. They just... They let you go. Can I find the... Uh, is this the what happened? He just started running away like an idiot? Kind of, it's pretty. Oh, and your footsteps actually show up, but then they disappear. <laughs> ah, the Sahara. All right, fair enough. Well, let's incinerate the, this shit. D503 had completed his task. However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. Oh, is that black spindle stuff alive or something? I heard it screaming a little bit. It was like... He was like me. <laughs> Uh, please take the level two mental test. Sick. I think I'm beyond it. Please select three pictures with triangle. That one. That one. This one. Yeah. Identification correct. Please continue. Select three pictures that calculation results are equal to five. Five plus zero. Five plus five plus five divided by three. Um, that one too, I guess, right? Oh, wait, is the brackets affect anything? Because it's bed mass. Brackets. Yeah, so that wouldn't be it, actually. Brackets, division, multiplication. Yeah, addition. Uh, <sighs> fuck these fucking... One, two, three, four, five. Thank God. Okay, I thought there was four there. All right. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> D257. Today's work is complete. The system will settle the contract time. Two more weeks. No, three more weeks. Oh, fuck. I want... Oh, no burger today? You're not hungry? Have a nap. That night, D503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. Fluctuations. Analysis tells us that D503 is dreaming. What are you dreaming of, big guy? Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of. Unless... <laughs> Just kidding. We've got that fucking brain scan footage. Oh, okay. I don't think that crackling is intentional. I don't think that's intentional. I could. I hope you. I can barely see this. Maybe I should put that. Uh, it's like a cliffside. It's kind of like craggy and rocky. Oh, it's the Among Us figure standing on top of a rock alone. What do I have to walk up to get it or something? Oh, that was it. The eighth day marked a significant turning point. The start of SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? What is an SCP? Hello, Dr. Ham. Why do they all look like they're fucking... Damn, everyone in this class looks like they're 12 years old. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. Those little fuckers. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, 
why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay. Our analysis has indicated it only goes up to 6,999, huh? Produces a new cluster of trash every eight minutes and 37 seconds. I was wondering, I was wondering that. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. What? It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is Spencer, shut the, the fuck up. issue before the issue is fully understood? Okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. So yeah, Spencer. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. <laughs> Good. Fucking kiss on. ass. Fucking Spencer, the man. Should have stuck to these guns. On D503 <laughs> this is what happens when millennials join the foundation. <laughs> I was thinking though. Oh, oh, okay. We were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day, perhaps the worst. Both legs gone, Even testicles shattered. <laughs> this is what happens with millennia. Yeah. Fun fact: the SP list only goes up to SCP six nine nine nine. I was yeah, because I was thinking I was like I was like I wonder if they just took one or if they were just like fuck it, this is the one, this one's, this is what this one's called now. Just a someone someone made an SCP seven four five seven. They were just like nah, fuck it. I'm actually gonna fucking go for the other one first. I think personally, look at that drift. I think this guy he saw the fucking worms around it and he was like you know what no actually I I don't think I fuck with that. Oh there's worms around this one too. Hop out. Blah! Big thick spindle. Collect the splindle. A thin black spindle, a spindle of thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. Ah, it's the same same flavor text as the last time. So okay, so I'm actually doing a pretty good job by getting all the waste. All right, what was this one again? Oh, yeah, is this? D five hundred three found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. Yeah. <laughs> Handheld radar, World War Two type. There's a lot of vibration on the display as well as the handle, and the receiver isn't working anymore. Uh oh. I think that this thing's gonna fucking eat me. Dr. Spencer, <laughs> why is SCP-7457 kind of bussin'? No cap for real. On God. On God, Dr. Spencer. <laughs> I wouldn't think much of it either. It's a World War II radar type. Pull down the lever. I'm gonna fucking... Also, what weather conditions? It's beautiful outside today. How far away can I run from away from this thing, do you think? Let's see. No wonder my fucking psychological damage is intense. Why, wow, you really can just keep going, huh? Alright, well, the meme's not that funny, so I'll just head back, I think. Yeah, but, uh... It's interesting that they're making up some of their own, now. I guess that's nice. It's kind of... Not like original. I don't really know. That's kind of cool. I mean, well, it is original. In a, anyway. Physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. <laughs> uh, I'm killing fucking John Carpenter's the thing. <laughs> I got an achievement. An I think it's my last day. <laughs> 
Huh? A sandstorm. Oh no. D503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time. But he couldn't seem to find his he way back. Walked? Oh, because he burned the truck. Whoops. Oh, maybe I should follow that. Nah, fuck it. There's probably a better way. What what was the achievement I got? Collect all garbage in daily mission. Yep. Oh, there it is. There's the exit. Maybe I should I follow the wires? The wires seem to be a good indicator of what I should do. Or is this just like is this just the fatal trap that's gonna get me caught in inside? I like this. This is kind of interesting. Like, this is an interesting kind of like. I think the art style is really cool. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd think I thought I see some shit fucking moving. What the hell is going on, Eli? We're having a fever dream. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Sweat, sweat, Eli. Uh, we're playing SCP Secret Files, and today. I'm a death row inmate who's probably gonna get fucking murdered by a wiry uh, John Carpenter thing. Seems like a normal enough. I don't know if I trust it. It's like, a, is it gonna just bring me inside? Is he gonna suck up my little butt? It's like, nice job. The desert tentacles are about to eat us. Did you get banished? Oh. To a desert realm or something? That's right. <laughs> Instead of going to Brazil, they just took me to the Sahara. Wait a minute. <sighs> Who is that? Who's there? The, the dick. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, wow. Is that trash? Wait, is this trash on the beach? Those just rocks. Oh. Lie. Sick. Alright. Looks like it's written in some sort of liquid. Wait a minute. <laughs> what are these tentacles doing here? What's, uh, is that me? Oh, that's so gross. Oh, fuck, that's disgusting. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> the ultimate glory hole. No cable wires could be so hostile. From an unknown voice. Yeah. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D503 returned to Site 8. Yeah. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. All right. I hope this one goes okay. Please take this level two mental test. Ugh. Please connect the dots. Major fluctuation. In one line with this. Observed. Oh, God, I can't even. I can't even play my cool math games. This fucking place is a nightmare. Play the math games. Oh. evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. No, chill, bro. Unfortunate that you would do that. Oh, pull it. He's gonna get out of there. You guys didn't. All right. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. <laughs> Desert. 
Please fucking tell me. Oh, fuck! Ah, fuck, fuck! Oh, get in the fucking truck! Drive, bitch. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. We're gonna be the ones that fucking do it. I have a good feeling about this guy, actually. Jason Carter? I believe him. What the actual fuck has happened? Did they make you go through a portal or something? Do you know what the SCP Foundation is? Have you ever heard of that, that like, creepypasta thing? Also, this might be really fucking loud, I just realized. There's trash. Oh fuck, there's trash everywhere. Look out, it's a swindle! Alright, we're okay, I think, now. Yeah, they're an organization that collects all sorts of weird shit. Exactly. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, this isn't good. <laughs> B503 heard the call. I can't. Sorry, I can't see shit. I'm going to just turn up the fucking... I'll turn up the brightness a little bit for everybody. Foliage. Shadow. Gamma. It does not seem to, to do anything. You guys see any better? I can actually see worse. <laughs> it's actually fucking worse. <laughs> All right, we'll turn that down. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to... Here, I'll turn on the... I don't fucking know. Let's see if I better filter or something. <laughs> Not on my face. <laughs> what if that... Is that a little better? Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, beautiful. What did this desert SCP look like? It's a place you had to go through it somewhere. What did the entrance look like? It was just like a big, it was just that big, that thing that he just came out of, that like concrete elevator. That was, uh, that was what it was. What was that, a dumpster? Bro. Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. Yeah. That all choices come from their own free will. It's in their own ham. Get it? They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. Is this like an anti-global warming? <laughs> Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. I, I fuck, I, I can't see. I honestly can't fucking see. I don't think they want you to go up to the fire escape. Hello? Society. <laughs> so it's a small building block with the entrance, probably kept in the container room. I don't know. I haven't seen any entities. So, well, there's a black spindly thing. That, oh, I don't know. Maybe that's the entity down there. Bro, you gotta pick up that phone. The ultimate Gluck. Oh, it's telephone cables. I was like, what are these cables? <laughs> Stupid. Damn. In a world where Zoom took control. <laughs> Shit, I better go fucking answer the phone call. Uh oh. No! Oh, I'm wrapped up in a black spindle. Gotcha. This is just how Discord call happens. <laughs> Me in the Xbox live party chat. <laughs> Having a psycho lot. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, fuck. That's hilarious. So I was picking up the spindles this whole time. We were the fucking spindles the whole time. Oh man, that's too bad. Oh, and I get burnt. Oh, and that's the. Could you hear them screaming? I think you could. <laughs> I was burning people before. Imagine you answer that phone. The person on the other end has to answer all the questions you ask. That'd be kind of cool. You're like, where's the pee stored? <laughs> Experiment participant D722 found the radar that it belonged to D503. The radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. Oh.
People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological How's it going, Davey? I mean, period, fuck. <laughs> it manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. But some have left it scathed, then. The Foundation has tested 31 level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. That's 647 square kilometers. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Remember that, Spencer, Let you little fucking... Clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Uh -huh. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Seems a little mad. He's a little Remember upset. this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Ah. Do not take <laughs> risks. Oh. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. I mean... <laughs> if you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Are we still paying full tuition you for online classes? He sounds like the welcome. <laughs> welcome to the cum zone, rookies. Disconnected. Oh. Training course has ended. Please fucking blah blah blah. You whore. I don't know if they're having aha. I do have some water up here. I'm about to anomalize your balls. And then he gives you psychological trauma. Draw dicks in the comments. Can I actually fucking do that? <laughs> Less than one. Didn't really, don't really. Other supplements? Good. I only saw. Oh, wait. Um, lesson one. Raymond Ham. Online video meeting. Uh, the course range. Nope. There you go. Didn't really. Good. It helped me realize that if I don't strictly, don't strictly buy by the rules, I could be injected with amnes am amnestetics and sent home like Jonathan. What if I... I didn't really feel anything. I only saw a Boy Scout instructor scaring a rookie. Can I... Yeah, I want to give it... Good, it helped me. Yeah, boom. Thank you for your feedback. Fuck this guy. All right, it's not Jonathan W. <laughs> Jonathan. L for Jonathan. The system's developed by the Ministry of Information. The version number is... Yeah, whatever. Cool. Great. Hiya, Carl! How did it feel? To be honest, I feel a little uncomfortable. Anyone got an aspirin? <laughs> I could use a few. Uh, to be honest, I don't feel too too comfortable. Jonathan Blow. <laughs> Jonathan Blow. Blow what? Hey, buddy, don't throw up on the floor. Stop messing with him, Stuart. I told you guys, start calling me Rick. Carl, that was only the beginning. You got to learn to get used to live with it. Like You got to... <laughs> I'm fucking already having anomalies. I got it. How's Gent? And... Everyone here wants to teach you something, Carl. Live with it. Come on, Stuart. Thank you. I feel much better. Oh, all right. In any case, you're welcome to join us, Carl. <laughs> it's a dick emoji with two tiny little balls. Foolish. The past has been, the past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during the training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I even recall any of this because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls, but it was also real. I can taste it in my mouth now. The foul taste of the river water, but in any case, it's my first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria. I guess I'm gonna eat maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. Ah! Okay. They'd probe your brain. They'd fuck your brain with a giant uh, dick. It'd be nice to go to the cafeteria, though. Be nice to, uh, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Now you're going to enter a different world. Everything here will make you feel incredible. Oh, okay, something happened there. Anyway, um, it's been an hour. I